Hey everybody, Tim and Julie here for a DC animated original movie, Batman Year One, uh, based off of the Frank Miller comic from 1987. So we pretty much are, we already watched Batman Begins, right. which is basically a live action version of this. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so it's been several years since I've read the comic. But I had you read it uh, for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, so real brief, what did you think of the comic? And then what did you think of this compared? Like, are they similar? Are they different? It was, yeah, pretty similar. Okay. Um, it, it had been a couple, what, a week or two mm -hmm. since I read it. But once I started watching the movie, yeah, it okay. all came back. Yeah. Nice. And so what did you think of this movie? It was good. Okay. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't like how I know, the crooked cop. Oh. Flack. Was it Flass? Flass. I think some. Yeah. The blonde one. Yeah. Okay. And um, then how they uh, said Batman, you know, was a villain type. Person, mm. yeah. Cause they were trying to figure out who he was. Who he was mm. and everything. And <coughs> we saw Catwoman. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, and it was it was good. I, I enjoyed it. Good. Um, so this is one of the first stories to kind of reintroduce Batman. Batman. Like I said, this was eighty seven. <clears throat> And so, up to this point, a lot of Batman stories were kind of like the campy, over-the-top type stories. Mm -hmm. And this was supposed to kind of make it more real. Right. And then, uh, what, 87? So, 20, 30 years after this is when we get Batman Begins. And then that kind of takes the same story but makes it even more real. Yes. Um, one of the things that I do love about this movie is... Uh, so, I mean, I, it doesn't necessarily say what year it takes place, but you see signs for, like, VHS and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I love how the animation style, its it reminds me of the 70s, mm -hmm. where it's like, you don't you don't see the whites of their eyes. It's just mm -hmm. the black dot. Right. Um, almost like Scooby-Doo or, like, I think of, like, the Star Trek animated series, stuff like that, where they, they, didn't, they didn't have whites of their eyes. It was just a black dot and then skin tone. Mm-hmm. So I, I thought that was really funny. I like that. Um, the the undercover cop thing's kind of a reoccurring theme with, especially with Gordon. Like that's why Gordon's right. supposed to move up in the ranks as he weeds out the bad cops. Right. Speaking of which, um, Ben McKenzie, I think is his name, plays the voice of Batman in this. And then years later, um, in fact, it just ended not long ago. There's a TV show called Gotham, and it's about. Um, almost like this it's it's about a young commissioner gordon first moving to gotham and like bruce wayne's in it but he's like 12 years old like he's a little right. kid and ben mckenzie plays uh commissioner gordon in that mm -hmm. so first he played bruce wayne and then he goes on to play commissioner gordon so i like that um <clears throat> Overall, for me, I would actually say I like this story more than Batman Begins, just because I think this is a little bit more grounded. Right. Um, whereas Batman Begins has so much going on with the Scarecrow and Ra's al Ghul and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of a spoiler, we do see Gordon having an affair in this one. Right. That is something that will continue on a little bit. Uh, Frank Miller's kind of famous for writing um, like two or three, no, more than that now, um, three big stories, and it was uh, Batman Year One, um, Batman and the Boy One, All-Star Batman, and then uh, The Dark Knight Returns, which I also had you read. Mm -hmm. He wrote that as well. In that one, uh, Commissioner Gordon is not married to Barbara anymore. He's married to Sarah, the woman he was having the affair with. So it's one of those, like, you blink and you miss it type thing so <clears throat> um any other closing oh and then the same for batman begins is where he has the joker card at the or they're, they're talking about the joker right. at the end of this movie, movie yes. a nice little setup for the future mm -hmm. um any any closing thoughts for this one no it was it, i i liked it i mean it 
you know, month by month, or, or you mm-hmm. know, something was going on, and, um, yeah, it was, I liked it. Okay, good. And you like, did you, and you like the comic? You kind of skipped over that part. Not your favorite? The comic? <clears throat> yeah, it was okay, but I liked the movie better. Okay. I mean, actually, seeing right. the live at, well, not live, animated yeah, right. action. It was, yeah, okay. the movie was pretty good. Good. Okay. Um, so for those who have seen this, what did you think? Um, some people love Frank Miller. Some people hate Frank Miller because he's, he's very intense. He's very dark. So uh, for those who have seen it, what did you think about this one? Go ahead. Let us know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And we will see you guys next time.